Hey guys, thank you for joining us again at Car Systems Installation. So we're going to show you how to test a power draw on a vehicle. In this case, we have a 2008 Lexus RX 400H, a hybrid vehicle. We have a 12 volt battery. We have our uh, multi here, and we're going to show you how to test the power draw. We have the vehicle here. The reason is the customer complains that he has a power draw that uh, drains his uh, battery. It can't start the car in the morning. Uh, he's complaining that it's been done after a couple of aftermarket items that were installed. So we're gonna uh, check. Uh, we're gonna check what we have. So we've opened the. We've opened the dash and we've seen what he had installed before uh, by a company. Uh, he. The complaint was that uh, after this installation, he had these issues and he approached them a few times. Unfortunately, they were not able to solve the problem, so he contacted us. So first thing we've seen is the remote starter installation, and we also have a dash cam installed in here. The remote starter is not to our liking. I don't like the way it is. We have a lot of exposed wire in here, a lot of wires that got butchered. The connections to the ignition uh, connector are uh, very close to the actual connector, which means if any of the wires break, it would make it very difficult to fix. Uh, instead of using a proper interface bypass module, uh, they've used one of the vehicle uh, chips. They removed it from one of the keys with a relay system. It can work, but in a car like that, that you have an interface module, it's preferable to use that interface to work much better, much cleaner. The last thing that we've seen here is the connection to the power lock in the vehicle. So we have the power lock in the driver door in here, and there is wires that has to be run from the power lock to the driver door. We've seen here the wires are ran, again, not to our liking. This is external. You can see the wires, they can get cut, they can get damaged. It doesn't look good, but it's also not professional uh, connection because this can break very quickly. In the vehicle has the door boot in here where the factory wires are going between the body and the door. The proper installation would be removing the door panel, running the wires through that boot into the vehicle, nothing visible outside, nothing can get damaged. In this case, it's actually squeezed here on uh, this metal bar in here, as you can see. So this is a sharp metal that is squeezed, so it can obviously get damaged very quickly. Now, even though this is not a great installation, that does not mean that this is what the power draw. So we're gonna test what is the power draw, and we're gonna show you how we're testing that. Okay, so to test the power draw, we have our multi set up on amp and we have the black wire in the com, com in the common one and we have our red wire in the amp position we're going to disconnect the vehicle positive wire from the battery i'm gonna have one side so the the positive here this is the battery terminal and this is the wire to the vehicle. So we're gonna connect the com, the common one to the vehicle side. We're gonna connect our red one to the battery itself. Now, since we don't have a, a big clamp on this multi, so I'm using jumper cables. Now, as soon as we're gonna connect it correctly and we have a, we have a circuit closed, we're gonna see we have the draw of a 0 0.4, which is quite high, it's going down, which is good. Now we're gonna lock the vehicle. So this system that he has, it's an alarm. So as we can see, we have a quick, big jump. So we're gonna let the system settle a little bit and about 10 minutes, and we're gonna see what level it gets after 10 minutes. It should get to a range of 0 0.05, 0 0.07, not higher than that. Higher than that is too much draw and that will drain your battery pretty quickly after a couple of days. If it's really high, in one of our videos, we actually show a draw of a 
uh, you can see it in our, uh, another video that we have that was from an undergo light that were installed incorrectly so we're gonna let the vehicle we're gonna let the vehicle sit for a few minutes and we're gonna get back